So you want to save space on your SSD, but you can't stop downloading all the add-ons for your simulator. Well, don't worry, we have an easy solution for you. Flight Simulator fans, fear not. Your space is safe with the next few steps. Even if you are a Microsoft Flight Simulator user or an X-Plane 11, this was tested by us and works like a charm. So I am assuming that you have an SSD drive for your system and you want to limit the use of space on it. You also have around 500GB, 1TB and so normal hard drive install or even an external one. What we tend to do is install the simulators on the SSD for better performance. That's expected. But we have a way to move some files to the other hard drive and be linked from there to our SSD as we run the simulator. The SSD drive, either an M2 SSD or a normal one, will have on it your simulator. Same place where Microsoft Flight Simulator installs your community folder. Your C drive, where your Windows lives. Then, the normal 1TB drive will have all kinds of install files and content that you use, plus videos, music, pictures, you name it. You find yourself scrolling throughout all the amazing free content made by the community for your favorite sim. You find the right one for you. You hit the download button. Then you must unarchive the content in a folder on your normal hard drive. Make a special content folder where you know you will store all the scenery files needed for your sim. The scenery I downloaded came with two additional archives so I can choose if I want to have static aircrafts at the airport or not. So I must extract again. And always check for the folder cause some creators like to complicate stuff so make sure it will look like this. Good. Now we navigate to our community folder for Microsoft Flight Simulator. For x users you need to go to your custom scenery folder. And let's have it open for later. Now let's get a program that we are going to use called Link Shell Extension. Download link in the video description. This will give us the power to use hard links and create symbolic links with our files. A powerful tool for a scenery holder like myself. We download the tool from here. We select the version we need according to our system. Then we access the installer we just downloaded and press OK. And continue with the installation of the program. I already have it installed so don't mind if I don't. Be advised, it may prompt you for a restart in order to start the service. Now let the magic begin. Go to where you have your scenery files on a normal hard drive. Right click on the scenery folder. And now you will have the option to pick link source. Left click it. Then go to your community folder. Right click. Then drop as. And select symbolic link. And that's it. Now your simulator will read the scenery files as it would be on your SSD but without taking any space. We can confirm that this doesn't cause any FPS issues as long as you use it just for scenery files and airports. Thank you for watching. If this tutorial was useful for you, please leave a comment down below. As well if you have any questions about other matters in the sim, here at Hip Games we love to troubleshoot. We post every week, so make sure you subscribe for more tutorials and news on your favorite simulators and games. And if you want to support the channel, check the description down below. That's it for now, fly safe and I'll see you next time.